Meta-analysis is a research method that combines the results of many different studies on the same topic to reach a stronger and more reliable conclusion. Instead of relying on a single study, researchers analyse data from multiple studies to get a clearer picture of what the evidence says overall. This process often involves using statistical techniques to find patterns, trends, or the average effect of a certain treatment, intervention, or behaviour. By pooling data, meta-analysis helps to address inconsistencies between studies and can provide more accurate and generalizable results. Now let's look at some examples of meta-analysis. One example is in the field of medicine, where researchers might analyse results from several studies about the effectiveness of a new drug. If one study shows the drug works well, but another shows it does not, a meta-analysis can combine the data to see the overall impact. Another example can be found in education. Researchers may study multiple programmes aimed at improving reading skills in children. By using meta-analysis, they can determine which strategies are most effective across different schools and settings. Finally, in psychology, meta-analysis is often used to understand trends in human behaviour. For example, researchers might look at studies on the connection between stress and health to see how strong the relationship is overall. Now let's examine some of the benefits of meta-analysis. One major benefit is that it provides more reliable results by combining data from many studies. This increases the sample size, making the findings more statistically powerful and reducing the risk of error. Another benefit is that meta-analysis can help identify patterns or trends that might not be noticeable in individual studies. For example, if some studies find small effects, a meta-analysis might show that together these small effects add up to something meaningful. Additionally, meta-analysis can resolve disagreements between studies by offering a broader perspective. If two studies have conflicting results, a meta-analysis can determine which result is more consistent across multiple datasets. However, meta-analysis is not without its weaknesses. One weakness is that it relies on the quality of the studies being analysed. If the original studies have flaws like poor design or biased data, these issues can affect the overall results of the meta-analysis. Another problem is the challenge of combining studies that use different methods or measure things in slightly different ways. For example, if one study measures depression using a questionnaire and another uses interviews, combining their results might be difficult and could reduce the accuracy of the meta-analysis. A final weakness is the risk of publication bias. This happens when researchers only include studies that show significant results while ignoring studies with negative or neutral findings. This can make the overall findings seem stronger or more positive than they really are.